Hi, hello, and welcome on back to the Firefly channel. As promised, we're going to pick up immediately where we left off at the end of last episode. And we're going to go ahead and just roll into it. We're playing as Trevor currently, and we are here to retrieve a certain somebody who's been a thorn in our sides for a very long time. Okay. Devin has surrounded himself with Merryweather guards. Well, I hey, guess that was. Unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Ah, oh, kidnap. I don't want to kidnap. I mean, I just want a straight cap. Open your flipping gate, you son of a gun. Okay. Put the weapon down! Seriously? Oh. Where are you? What the fuck? Oh. I am not- uh-oh. He's gonna cap me. Yep. Uh oh I meant to press Q. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and use a silenced weapon and see if I can't silently remove at least one or two of the targets. I mean, my gut's telling me it's probably not gonna let me get away with, um... <gasps> it is? <gasps> Oh, the game just changed. All right. All right, I can't approach on that side, so it has to be over the bush. It's got to be over the bush. All right, we're going to sneak. Uh, do I have any? Okay, I guess it is straight, like, stealth mission. All right, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Oh, oh. Okay, right now it looks like we're clear. I can't fully see that way, but we're just gonna... Alright, so when everybody lit up, it looked like he had at least seven or eight people in the facility. We're just gonna keep creeping though, because... I... I don't know. I, I haven't had the opportunity to be stealthy. Just in case. <laughs> I haven't really had the opportunity for full-on stealth in some missions, and considering I was just loud, you know, taking out everybody else. Oh! Uh, oh! Awkward! Awkward! Please don't... This guy right next to me is gonna know. We got a cop set! Protect DW! You're gonna die, bitch! Death by butt shot. I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most. All right. Well, they know I'm here. This person you'll meet. Hold station. Bolo. Get him up. He's after DW. Extreme prejudice. Damn it. My favorite kind. <laughs> oh god, that reminds me of this quote I used to say with my buddies. I was very immature back in the day, but uh... Yeah, whenever I got like real hyped, I was just like... Oh no, not real hyped, but like, it was just really a stupid ass joke, but uh... Me and my buddies, when we used to talk a lot of trash and like Call of Duty or something, I was like, Yeah man, you ready to shit some justice down their throat? And it was like the most graphically unnecessary thing to say. But it was like, in, in Call of Duty, stuff like that was actually pretty normal. Like, offensive terminology and like, just... Oh god, I learned a lot of slurs. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, the dumbest stuff was said in that game. I miss it so much. Wait, wait, hear me out! No more talking! Nah... My patience for you is pretty much over. 
I'm actually you're one of the few people I'm glad to see go in this in this game. <laughs> like I can't believe that line. Like, God dang, it's just like my inner immature child just la like laughs and giggles all over. Six kilometers. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him oh, out of the city. Oh, thank God, there's dialogue. Disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH. They're like a Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Hold on, we're just gonna go down the mountain. I'm sure I won't regret this at all. I mean, it's a shortcut, and actually, it sounds like there's no dialogue because he's already stopped talking. So, oh, okay, keep going, keep going. Uh oh. Where am I? What happened? Um. Well. Let me out of here! Find a happy place, you Zen cock! <sighs> Zen cock. That's a strange insult. Oh no. I'm getting a phone call from an important person who's well aware that I'm recording and I cannot pick up the phone. <laughs> like, why would you do this to me? I literally texted you before I began. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael has to go! You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll never wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a steak! I'm giving you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely hey. nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! You can't do this to me! Oh, yes, we Go can. Me, you phony prick. That was a weird, like, 360 spin. Okay, that's like, I've seen that truck so many times in the last, like, two minutes. Oh, whoops, I passed it. I'm passing it. God dang, it's like, out of everybody I, I've encountered in this game who's had an unfortunate ending, this is probably one of, like, maybe two yeah. who I'm like, yeah, you, you you get what's coming, bro. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna let this happen because resisting is getting me nowhere. Yep, we're gonna go straight into the water, aren't we? Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Are you- you've got to be shitting me right now. I did not make it all the way here for this to happen. I made it all the way here for this to happen. Oh. How come whenever I fail a mission, it's literally at the end where it's like, how can you fuck this up? Like, how do I do this? Like, god damn it. Oh my god. Mother... I'm doing that one out of frustration because it's like these sons of bitches literally took me all the way back. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm almost tempted to just force fail it a couple more times so I can just skip to the end. I was literally there. I was- I was literally there. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Uh, Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH. I don't know why the car just turns building. on its own in the field. Cause I'm not- I'm not making it turn. Like, I have nothing but the back button pressed. 
So it's it's fair to say that the vehicle probably uh, has some fucked up tires or something. Okay. Whoa, 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 what's going on? <sighs> okay, so we got down much faster than last time because I already learned from that. Um, this is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. Okay. Well, the good news is we know what we're doing. The bad news is I'm so incompetent that just wrapping up the particular end of the heist is where I slip up. But hey, that's how it goes. We uh, experience and we learn. I done goofed. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Trevor is really good at using everything someone says and turning it around into a psychological discomfort. Oh yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of cold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing. Sorry, that was great. He could have stopped, but he did it. You're dead! Okay, we're gonna have a controlled descent down this particular mountain. Find a happy place, you Zen cock. Seriously, are, like slick. you kind of come up a with a better for some one on one time. Oh, that's kinda of pretty. Oh, if I'd known the sun was going to transition, I would have tried to snap that photo instead. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. Yeah, that's right. Throw that shit away. You don't need none of that. Thank none of them cancer right, sticks. Oh, man. I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh, He's been serenading. <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, yeah. the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one, is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. <laughs> Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks Nighty for all night, the compadre. advice. Nighty-night, compadre. Bye-bye. Uh, ooh, hold on. There we go. Hey, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nice. So now what? <laughs> now we keep a little profile. Six? Get on with our <laughs> lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. <laughs> As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. 
Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know. He I can't. He's dead. <laughs> well, hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you. And when your problems are so words. bad Does that your that therapist ends up therapy? dying. Look, man. You two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. <laughs> You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Yeah, aren't we all? God, I don't even know how I'm going to begin to review this game. Oh my gosh, it is the end. No way. Uh, achievement unlocked. To live or die in Los Santos. Completed the final mission. What the heck? That's so weird. I, I, I rarely have ever found myself smiling after completing a video game. And yet... I don't know, this was just wow. <laughs> wow, just Rockstar, well done. Well done. It's not perfect. By any means, I could not give you a perfect 10 out of 10. But dear frickin' God, are you one hell of a high 8, high 9. Wow. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Um... Shoot, where do I even begin? I mean, let's start with our characters, you know? We start off uh, with Franklin. And I gotta say, Franklin's climb from, you know, boosting cars for Repo, you know, for Simeon back at that dealership, to now, I mean, he's rolling in gold. He's got... They just did the biggest freaking heist of their lives. And it's like, this guy doesn't have to work anymore. Um, I, 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 the character development was pretty intense. Maybe not on Franklin's behalf, but for some of these characters. I thought Franklin's character development made sense in the sense like, okay, he, in the beginning, he just doesn't want to do shit for nobody because he's always doing it. And then it's like, towards the end, it's like, he, he returns to that place of, you know, he does care and he does want to help his, you know, his friends, the people he views as friends and and family, um, and I mean, he ends up saving, you know, Trevor and uh, Michael in a, in a way. In a way, um, then we got introduced to Michael. I mean, his I feel like he had a lot of character development, or at least early and mid um, mid game, but late game, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, a man who used to live it big and do dangerous shit and roll with some of the most dangerous men, taking scores and God, probably probably stole billions over his career, no doubt. I mean, especially when you consider our last major heist. I mean, that was 20 billion, 20 billion with a B. Um, I, I think how he approaches chain, uh, how he approaches his family is very different. He's a lot calmer, much more thankful for having them. Um, he just wants to stop doing this crazy shit and actually be able to live and appreciate, you know, what he has with his family. Um, and then there's Trevor, who I, from the be very beginning, I genuinely thought Trevor was nothing more than a psychopathic, uh, maniac, uh, with very little to absolutely none, uh, in the redeeming quality, uh, department. And yet towards the end... I don't know, I just, I started to see that he's a bit more sophisticated, that yeah, the guy's totally batshit bonkers, but, uh, he's very loyal. He is loyal to those who are loyal to him. Though, I do think his character is the least respectable because of the way he just so negatively impacted so many lives. He's ultimately, in my eyes, an evil man with still very little to essentially no redeeming qualities. <laughs> um, 
Wow, okay, so then, um, gameplay, I'm just gonna roll into, like, or no, 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 not gameplay, we're, we're gonna keep going with, like, story and stuff. Uh, story was okay, I mean, a lot of heist work, a lot of just people trying to live what they can, or live how they can, and in this case, they chose crime life, and they ended up being very wealthy for it. Um, I'd say the story is pretty straightforward, you know, um, retired, uh, heist beef. I don't know what to call him, really. Uh, we'll just say, uh, entrepreneur. <laughs> Retired entrepreneur who, uh, you know, works secretly with the government to get out of his crime life while still avoiding repercussions for his actions, you know, ends up getting thrown back into that life because of a chance meeting with Franklin. Um, and the adventures that ensued, the lives that were lost in the process, the sheer destruction from trains, airplanes, vehicles, uh, buildings. I mean, there was nothing that we didn't tear through in this game to, you know, reach the end goal of this final mission and and wrapping up, presumably wrapping up um, the storyline for Michael Townley, Trevor Phillips and Franklin. And yeah, just I don't know. <laughs> Cockcroft. Rowan Cockcroft. Sounds so fancy. Um, one of the uh names I've passed up in the uh menu there. Oh, this is a really uh pretty backdrop they got going on right here. Uh what else? Uh gameplay. I think I liked everything about gameplay, but I did notice there was a few hiccups. Um, for instance, like when I'm trying to aim at something and I guess my character is just too close to either a wall, maybe an enemy. Um I'm not allowed to, like, actually aim and fire, and I found that to be sort of, like, a hiccup and something I disliked. Um, because I noticed, like, people who I was actively trying to, like, engage on, like, up close and personal, they were able to draw their own weapons and still fire on me. So it's just, like, that that kind of inconsistency between what I was allowed to do and what the enemy was allowed to do was kind of eh. Um, and I'm actually, honestly, not a fan of the police system. It needs work. It needs improvement. Um... But for what it's worth, uh, what they've got going on in this game is an excellent start. I just hope in Grand Theft Auto 6 that they improve upon it. Um, I can't quite remember my playtime with Grand Theft Auto Online years ago. I don't remember if they improved on the police online or not. But I'm hoping in Grand Theft Auto 6 that's one aspect of the gameplay that's been a staple since the first game. I'm just hoping they can finally improve on that in a meaningful way other than um, upping difficulty or spawning you know, more of them in inconvenient places that don't even make sense. Um, stuff like that's kind of dumb. Um, but, it, I mean, I get it. I get it, you know. There's actually, um, when it comes to, like, gameplay aspects I liked, I think the sheer amount, uh, like, the sheer volume of things to actually do in this game, not only from the main, camp uh, main campaign perspective, but from all the side quests you can do, the just side entertainment, such as off-road racing, uh, water racing, parachuting, um, going to the tattoo parlor and customizing your character, Los Santos Custom, and being able to customize cars. I mean, that is one aspect of this game that I think Rockstar has gone above and beyond in. I have absolutely... I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly absolutely impressed. Um, I just... I don't know. I, I don't know how else to put it. Like... There are certain things about this game that it's like you could just cannot deny that they did exceptionally well in. Um, now, granted, this game, Grand Theft Auto V, came out when I was in high school. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to say Grand Theft Auto came out... Uh, here, let me just whip up on my phone real quick and Google it. You'd think I'd know off the top of my head, but... Um, I don't. Actually, you know what? I want to say 2012. 2012 was the year it probably came out. All right, Google is a 2013 action adventure. Okay, so I'm off by a year. But no, uh, for 2012, graphically, this game was as good as it came. Uh, by today's standards, it's a little, it's slightly lackluster. But I mean, if you have like a high tier 4K monitor, powerhouse computer, and you can generate every good detail, you, you'll, you'll be fine. It'll look absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just look at these background uh, shots as they're rolling the credits in the background and just appreciate um the terrain 
that was one aspect of the gameplay that I actually found myself being just falling in love with, actually. Like, the, the opportunity for photography in this game is insane. I, c I found myself, uh, well, not towards the end, but definitely in the early, uh, earlier uh, gameplays, I was taking photos of various places because I was just like, wow, this is actually really pretty. Like, this is really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I could keep going and ranting. This isn't like some official professional review. You know, I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy who is just ranting on what he likes and dislikes. Uh, so I call these my mini reviews for anybody who's only just now joined my channel. Like these are mini reviews. They're not thorough professional. Um, so yeah, what else about this though? I mean, there's, there's gotta be so much more. Um, I think all like the little, um, not quick time events, but like the random events such as muggers mugging civilians and you can choose to go and uh you know take down the the mugger and return the money i kind of like that it's like kind of a good way to balance the fact that in this game you're often doing less than respectable things and it's like almost like a karma thing in my opinion that says hey there still is the opportunity to do something positive within the world of grand theft auto um let me just say i haven't even explored all the environments like as i was traveling across the world during various uh gameplay uh, during different heists and, and missions and stuff, it's like, wow, to think, all these places I haven't even gone yet, there's so much more left to be explored. Like, even after you've played the campaign, even if you just play the campaign, there's so much left to explore, so many more places to see, there's collectibles to find, there's after-game um, stuff to do, such as, uh, you know, running businesses and buying up various properties in Los Santos. I don't think I've even bought a single property at this point. But I can now, because of that last mission. Um, and then, I mean, oh, don't even get me started for Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, when I first played Grand Theft Auto V, I just went straight online and played with a good buddy of mine, Poro on the Rift. Shout out to you, buddy. Love you so much, man. Um, I mean, we played Grand Theft Auto Online for like, oh, Jesus. Easily, and I hope this doesn't sound bad, but like easily probably like 300 hours. Like it's gonna sound bad but like i mean there was a lot of tough online missions that like you'd have to do over and over and over again because some of them were just so tough and challenging um i highly i highly advise people to get this game i mean if you haven't gotten this game yet get it get it and play it go ahead go and definitely play online because online is a whole nother story it's like it's almost like a almost like a sequel to the campaign it's uh because you're, you're gonna encounter so many other characters from the world of Grand Theft Auto, such as Lamar and um, other people like I think Chef and a few other people from like Trevor's end of the game. They also make you do a lot of missions and stuff like it's just it's nice. Um, I don't think there's really much left for me to say about this game other than well, well done. Just goddamn well done, even with all the like complaints and gripes I might have about the game throughout playing it. I'm ultimately sitting here like, wow, this was, this was actually outstanding. Just this world, this world they've made is just amazing. Um, I think, I think maybe like AI, I think AI is possibly one route that could have been improved upon for this game. Like, I don't, I, I know I've been fanboying pretty hard the last five, 10 minutes, but I think the AI when it comes to, uh, for instance, civilians. I would say it's neat to hear them talk, walk, and talk on phones and, and interact with one each other, but it really feels like there wasn't that much interactivity that the world, though it felt alive because of how much they put into the environment, the AI of the civilians often felt, mm, felt off to me, as if they should be responding differently or perhaps uh, responding uh, in a slightly different manner, I just, it's hard to explain. Uh, like when you go to rob somebody and you pull them out of the car and they just like, they just get out and that's about it. Um, I don't know. I feel like there should be more like interactivity. I mean, occasionally they'll call cops and stuff. I don't know, but it's weird. Uh, I did think they did outstanding with their characters though. I mean, they, they just nonstop made character after character, introducing you to other people. Um... I would say, in terms of our main characters, they're very rememberable. 
And I think I'll look back on this game and say just god damn well done. Um yeah, cuz I mean I I mean Franklin Trevor and Michael they they felt different enough from one another that they are all unique while still being able to be similar enough that it makes sense for them to be able to get along so well. Um I don't know, I'm still just ranting. It, it's not like I said, not a professional review, just just a guy living his life, playing games for the sake of playing games. Um yeah, normally I try to keep going until the credits are done, but I don't know. I think uh I think that's it. I don't really have anything left to say. Um I have said throughout the campaign that I do plan to wrap up um to wrap up the game and just do a few more of those odds and ends such as uh racing and finishing up parachuting and I think I honestly don't know if I want to do that at this point um because I don't feel like it's adding anything like new to the story or anything it's more or less one of those recreational things to do um I will tell everybody right now my next game that I plan on playing is God of War um and these are the recent ones these are not the originals that came out like 15 20 years ago however long ago um when I was younger <laughs> Um, this is, uh, I guess the reboot because I guess they're rebooting the series and they're just updating graphics and gameplay and other stuff, but I'm going to be playing it. Um, yeah. Uh, well, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead, let the credits roll out. And at the end of the credits, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, I know I've had to have gone over my 30 minute timer by now, especially cause I wouldn't shut up during the credits. <laughs> And I know I've been just going on and on. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to let y'all go ahead and enjoy the credits. And I'll do my usual closing of the video. And I think the next time I upload a video, you should definitely expect it to be God of War. I'm, I'm honestly ready to roll into a new series. And I think the God of War is different than what I'm used to. I do love playing shooters. And I definitely love horror. Um, there's a lot of horror games that I've repeatedly just played over the years, like Dead Space 2. And I don't know, just, I don't want to stick to one genre. I want to be able to play a wide range of games. So I'm going to do God of War next because it just, it takes me out of my comfort zone, but it's a game that has a lot of story to it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and I wonder, no, I can't skip. Oh, I, I guess I can skip because it's fading out. Wait, what? From the office of Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. Client notes. Highly confidential. Patient Mizix Foxfire. That's my uh, online Grand Theft Auto name for those who are wondering. Um, so needy and vain. Sees both sides of the argument and can't make their mind up. Wow. Identifies with the strangest people. Very cost conscious. Repressed in some ways. Mostly sexual. <laughs> Definitely a confusing area. Must investigate further. <laughs> this guy's a... Dude, Friedmeier's weird. Sees self as savior of women. Odd given certain behaviors. <laughs> Cares about family despite their obvious problems. Thinks they are a wise type who sees the bigger picture. Makes up stories about random killings. At least I hope they are stories. Bro! Friedmeier's retarded. Um, seems to be full-blown kleptomaniac. Tries yoga, but preferred murder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, physically unambitious. Likes new people or kills them. Possibly ADD. I'm really confused. As crazy as anyone I've ever met. This is a weird way to do the after credits scene, but okay. That was, uh, that was profound. That was profound. Okay. I'm gonna look, I've got to, like, Google that and be like, is there, is there a reason for that? Is that, like, the assessment of the player, or is that the assessment of Michael? Woo! Holy shit! 268 billion? Did I just, did I see that right? 
Oh, no. No, I didn't. But still, that's that's still a fuckload. 27 billion. Holy crap. Huh? There's a... Hold up. There's a Strangers and Freaks mission there. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm getting distracted. We're at the end. This is the end. If I do another Grand Theft Auto video, I'll, like... It'll be one of those in-between... Like, if I'm doing uh, God of War, and I'm gonna try and do that every three days, like just like I've been doing Grand Theft Auto. If I post a Grand Theft Auto video, let's say... I don't know, in between that time frame, like on day two, do understand that I'm not skipping over the God of War series. I will maintain that schedule. But it would be like sort of an in-between video. Like, maybe I'm just trying not to stay to one game this time, and I want to shake it up. But that will be like sort of an extra video, a side video. Um, but hey, I've been I've been talking way too long. I've definitely gone over my time. Um, thank you everybody for watching my Grand Theft Auto 5 series. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, it was a learning experience for me. Um, you know, if you like my stuff, if you like my content, you know, leave a comment. If you see room for improvement, leave a comment. Um, leave a like or a dislike. You know, hey, I accept it. You maybe people like it, maybe people don't. You know, that's that's life. Uh, and maybe even consider subscribing, you know, that'll help me grow my channel. Um, maybe share my content out to people who you think might have a similar interest in this content. Um, because I sure as heck don't know how to do this. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, hey, thanks for watching my, uh, series. Thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day, everybody.